Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I'm reviewing the new Undercrown Shade from Drew Estate. Here it is. It's a Robusto 5x54, and it is an entirely different blend from the normal Undercrown from Drew Estate, and you're probably familiar with it. Uh, just looking at it real closely, you can see it is a almost a gold color. Uh, the, if you take away the band, it may be a, uh, an illusion, but it is very light golden color uh, wrapper. And of course, you see right here at the bottom the word shade. Now, this cigar is comprised of an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. The binder is Sumatran and the filler is Dominican Criollo 98 and Nicaraguan uh, Corojo and Criollo. Uh, about seven, seven and a quarter, something like that for this size. It comes in six sizes. I'll show them all on the block. So, sort of the long and the short of it. Well, let's get right to this. Get this. There's their uh, density shot. Doesn't have a very heavy feel, so I don't know how long we'll get a burn time out of it. We should get at least an hour. So, let's go ahead and get right to it. The new Undercrown Shade Robusto. All right, let's find where this is. This has to be taken off. It should come off easily, and it will. There we go. Take that off. See it later. Very light colors. They are very light. Just shy of effortless. That's a good draw. First flavors I'm getting are uh, light boysenberries with a lot of cream or white chocolate. It's a very thick flavor. There are some caramel aspects to the flavor. Dry wood. Uh, black pepper on the front end is basically around a, a six and a half right now. It's not that much, but you get it really good on the finish. Finish at this point early on is just uh, straight sweet cream, but it has nice lingering black pepper. And uh, <clears throat> the cigar is not over medium bodied. It's, it's quite light. It might even be uh, mild to medium at this early stage. But we'll see where we go. two inches in you can see we're almost at the midpoint and the flavors are still you have that sweet boysenberry but we're starting to get a little more of a of a, of a uh, sweet cedar mixing in with it there's quite a bit of white chocolate notes it's more it's thicker than cream and a little light caramel that makes it a little sweeter there are quite a bit of dry wood notes though uh, the pepper is actually increasing slightly. It started out very low, and now it's about a little over seven, so it's moving in the right direction. But uh, on the finish, if I gave it a number, it would be somewhere around eight. It's much better. It's very good, actually, on the finish. And you might call it medium-bodied now. It's moved up just a tad. Not much. But uh, the lingering black pepper on the finish at this point is the star of the cigar. There's not a significant amount of sweetness on the front end. Uh, there's not any power on the front end. So I'm really hoping this ramps up because this is um, this is very light for an undercrown. And uh, I feel sure that's what they were going for is something... Because, you know, let's face it, Drew Estate is known for a lot of powerhouse, dark, noted cigars. And matter of fact, I reviewed one yesterday that they made, if you look back. But um, this is much lighter, much lighter. And uh, we'll just see where we go from here. Well, we're a little further down the road, but look at that burn and that ash. 
you can see there's not a lot remaining in the cigar. We're over halfway and we still have the ash intact and it looks very solid. Very solid. You gotta get that band off pretty quick. Now the, the flavors are more of a sweet cedar now with that white chocolate. It has just a, maybe a touch of butteriness, but it's more or less white chocolate. The dry wood is going away, but it's now, and I didn't get this much at the beginning. It was the dry wood at the base. Now it's turning more into a coffee flavor, a black coffee. Uh, there is some light caramel. It gives it that little bit of a caramel characteristic to the sweetness. The finish is very much a sweet cream solely now. But the pepper continues to increase on the front end and on the uh, finish, which is fine with me. The sweetness has picked up somewhat on the front end. So you've got a nice sweet cedar and white chocolate mix. And the white chocolate by characteristic alone has a little butteriness to it. It's a little uh, rich. So uh, it's improved. The ash can't improve at all. This is fantastic. Okay, this is pretty much a first for me. We're pretty much down to the end, so let's wrap it up. But look at that. I let it sink in. That is impressive, folks. That is at least a four inch ash. Nothing's fallen yet. I don't want it to. All right. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna hold it here so you can see it. The sweetness did greatly improve from around the midpoint onward because it for a while there, I was just thinking, this is not going to cut it. You've got a nice sweet cedar with some butteriness, the white chocolates there, and some caramel notes. And, it's, and it wound up being very good. The black pepper increased all the way through. It's about an eight and a half now. Probably eight and a half or nine on the finish. The finish is black pepper is amazing. Nice sweet cream finish. I actually got to about medium to full bodied at this point. I never thought it would make it that far. The cigar has improved from the very outset, which it, in my opinion is good and it had to because it started out quite bland, but it wound up being very good. And uh, I, I enjoy these flavors where they are now. So uh, if I gave scoring at each segment, it's gone up every time. But averaging it out throughout the course of the cigar, that's going to be my final score. And the Undercrown Shade Robusto gets a score of 91 because it started out quite bland and, it, and here at the end it's quite good. So if you average it out, it's 91. So there you have it. The Undercrown Shade with an amazing ash. There's a long ash contest uh, candidate for you. 91. I'm amazed. <laughs>